Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, let's learn the differences between a relation and a function so that we can easily solve any question based on this topic. So let's start. Friends, let's understand the differences using an example. So here I have set A with the elements 18, 25 and 49 and set B with 3, 5, 7 and 8. Here is the Cartesian product A cross B. It's nothing but all the ordered pairs from set A and set B. Now let's see the differences. The very first difference is the definition itself. So friends, a relation is nothing but any subset of this Cartesian product A cross B. So for this example that we have taken, let's define a subset R, which is say the square of. So what will be the elements of this set R? Well, 25 is a square of 5, so that ordered pair will be here. Also 49 is a square of 7, so that ordered pair will also come in the set R. And friends, if you observe, this set R is nothing but a subset of the Cartesian product A cross B and that's why it's called a relation. Now let's see the definition of a function. A function is also a subset of the same Cartesian product A cross B but the condition is that each and every element of the first set A has to be paired with a unique element of set B. So friends for the same example let's define a subset F called multiple of. Then what will be the elements of this set F? Well 18 is a multiple of 3 so that ordered pair will come in F also 25,5 and 49,7 will also be a part of the set F. So friends, we can say that this set is a function because each and every element of set A has been paired with a unique element from set B. And friends, you can pictorially represent the relation and the function that we have just now defined like this. Now let's come to the second difference. The second difference is that in a relation, some elements from the first set may not be paired at all with an element from set B. But in a function, every element of set A has to be paired with a unique element from set B. So friends, for the same example, if you see the relation R, the element 18 from set A has not been paired at all with any element from set B. Whereas in the function F, each and every element from set A has been paired with a unique element from set B. So that is another important difference between relation and function. The third important difference is that in a relation, some elements of set A may actually be paired with more than one element from set B. But in a function, no element of set A should be paired with more than one element of set B, friends. So let's take another example to understand this. Here I have set C with the elements cat, fish and turtle. And here I have set D with the elements land and water. So let's define a relation R called lives in from set C to set D and these are the elements of set R and friends you can clearly see that the element turtle from the first set has been paired with land as well as water so it has been paired with more than one element from the second set which is not at all allowed in a function so although R is definitely a relation it cannot be called a function so friends we can summarize by saying that every relation need not be a function but every function is a relation well that's because a function and a relation both are subsets of the same Cartesian product a cross B but in a function we have an extra condition that every element from the first set has to be paired with a unique element from the second set that's why every function automatically becomes a relation but every relation need not be a function so friends, I hope that now you can clearly differentiate between a relation and a function. So friends, if you found the video useful, do like and share the video and please leave your comments in the comment section below. Do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.